Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Uh, today I want to talk about bullion and especially want to talk about uh, silver today. A lot of folks have been asking me how they can invest some of their cash. Uh, inflation is running rampant right now and people are just concerned about their investments. So I will throw out a disclaimer and tell you that I am not a an, uh, financial uh, advisor or I do not have any, any sorts of certifications or anything when it comes to uh, financial advice. So I will just tell you the story of what I've done. Um, but one of the things that I have invested in a lot uh, over the years has been silver coins. There are other precious metals. You can invest in copper bullion. You can invest in um, exotic metals like rhodium, palladium, platinum, that sort of stuff. Obviously, gold is a big one. Uh, but one thing that I think is undervalued uh, when you look at the proportionality of minerals in the Earth's crust, uh, silver is found roughly, uh, I think, at a, a rate of 7 to 1 when it's silver to gold. Uh, and yet it's valued at, I think, uh, currently about 50 to 1 uh, silver to gold as far as actual the actual monetary uh, disparity between the two. So... I think that silver is, a, is still a good investment when it comes to preparedness strategies. So one one uh, one anecdotal story I have to tell you is a, a story about when I was driving through uh, an area that was inflicted by an ice storm and lines were down for communications, lines were down for power. It was hard to get fuel. The place that I stopped initially to get fuel would not sell fuel. Uh, I made it to a smaller fill-up station that had power for the pumps, but they did not have a credit card machine and they were not taking cash. And I was able to pull out from my survival kit a couple of gold coins, or correction, a couple of silver coins. And I was able to trade those for a full tank of fuel for the little diesel powered uh, car that I was driving. And I was on my way to where I was going. So not saying that that's a, a hard and fast thing. That is just an anecdotal story that worked for me. I also carried these in situations where I didn't necessarily want the denominations of currency that I normally use to be known, so I uh, I carried silver. Uh, the nice thing about silver is it is less valuable than gold. A gold coin right as of today is trading uh, the spot value, uh, which is basically the price in dollars per ounce, U.S. dollars per ounce, is roughly uh, $2,200. Uh, in contrast, price per ounce for silver is about $25 at the spot price, price per ounce. So it's a lot less, uh, you can buy a lot more silver than you can gold. Uh, and that's kind of a good thing if you're in a, in a barter situation. If people are accepting bullion uh, for trade where cash may not get somebody's attention, silver and gold and bullion in general is not necessarily a common thing. So folks are sometimes a little more willing to trade for it. It doesn't take the place of beans and bullets, but it's also a, a good thing to consider. So uh, that's what we're talking about today. Um, there are different kinds of coins. What you see here, these are called uh, silver Britannias. These are minted by the uh, Royal Mint in the UK United Kingdom. Uh, you can see the face of the queen on one side. These are obviously old. These were minted when, when Queen Elizabeth was still the reigning monarch. Uh, on one side, it's got the queen's face, and on the other side, it has an um, uh, image of uh, uh, Britannia or the, the spirit of Britannia. Um, typically, you can purchase these in a 25 round tube, and you, but you can, you, you'll get a discount if you purchase them uh, per tube or in bulk, obviously. Um, you can also purchase them per coin. Again, uh, expect to pay at least a dollar or two above spot. Usually you pay two to $2.50 above spot for each coin you purchase. There are other coins. Uh, there are silver Krugerrands, there are gold Krugerrands. Um, there are silver eagles, gold eagles, um, Canadian maple, maple leaves. Um, there are all sorts of different things. One of the things to consider when you do purchase bullion is the mint. So it, for instance, uh, this one's per minted by the United Kingdom. You can see on the edge of this coin that there are um, almost like serrations in them. And that just means that this, this coin is basically not, somebody hasn't taken shavings off the edge of the coin. So it's just kind of a marking to, to let you know that the coin is intact and, and whole. So um, just things to think about. There are other mints. They're private mints. They don't necessarily have those sorts of markings. So, and you can't 
vouch for their authenticity, where as the Royal, you came in as probably fairly trustworthy. You're not getting any tin or other alloy mixed into your silver. It's going to be 0.999% pure versus another private mint that might try to, you know, mix your silver with some cheaper alloy and, and try to take you to the bank, so to speak. So when you are purchasing these, these are just things to think about. Um, you can get a lower spot price for private mint, uh, privately minted silver bullion uh, bars or coins. Um, but, you know, if you're going for authenticity, if you're in a situation where, um, you know, you don't know the person that you're trading with, um, you know, this trading with a piece of bullion that has been minted by kind of an approved source is, is sometimes a good idea. So these are just things to think about. Um, and again, I'm not a financial advisor, but one of the nice things about having bullion is it's also somewhat inflation proof. So as the value of you know fiat currency decreases, there's still intrinsic value uh, in this bullion, right? It's something that you can touch, you can trade for. It has its own, you know, it actually has antimicrobial properties. Uh, that's why silver spoons uh, used to be the, the thing that everybody wanted to have because they um, use basically the, the inherent properties of the silver, um, uses ions to, to break apart the bonds in the DNA um, of the bacteria. So <clears throat> again, these are just, you know, things to think about. Um, and you can also use, uh, you can also make colloidal silver out of these things too. So if you have these, these things and you need a medicine to um, take care of yourself, again, I'm not a doctor, but uh, these are just different uses. And uh, all that to say that these are all intrinsic properties, inherent properties of this the, um, this tangible thing that you can have. So uh, it's just a good idea, a good thing to add to your kit. So if you have any questions with that, leave them in the comments, and we'll see you soon. 